Yeshua, Yeshua, I'ma bless his name. I'ma bless his name, Yeshua, Yeshua, I'ma bless his name. I'ma bless his name, Yeshua, Yeshua, I'ma bless his name. I'ma bless his name, Yeshua, Yeshua, I'ma bless his name. We will bless Yeshua, Yeshua. It is great to be back to Living Faith Tabernacle. I'm so excited to be back, and I thank my God that we're here. I'm so happy. It's good to be back to the church that makes you fall in love with church all over again. There are some people that are crying for help beyond their smile, and we need the discernment of God to look beyond the smile, the clothes, the lipstick, the Lexus, the Mercedes, and say, wait a minute, you are crying out for help.
us see one more day hallelujah and we will not rob him of the praise come on y'all ready to go a little higher let's go yes yes Lord. come on here we go everybody right there the branches he who abides in me will forever be fruitful indeed yeah, I am the way Jesus said the truth and the life no one gets to the Father except that he comes through me yeah. so listen so let not verse and truth say forsake you, forsake you, forsake you, forsake Let not mercy and truth say forsake you, forsake you, forsake you, forsake you, forsake you, forsake you,
family. This is Pastor Sonia, the operations and education pastor here at LFT. Guess what? It's offering time. We are a pillar in our community and we are still doing awesome things like our food pantry, dynamic services, and reaching those that need God's love and support and giving to our Kenya missions. And this month we have a special campaign. So check your social media. Listen, we could not have done all of these things without your support and continual giving. If you're new to LFT, everything is on the screen for you to give. We have many ways to give. Lastly, here at LFT, we have a declaration. And I want you all to repeat after me our declaration. This is my seed. God bless me with this seed. Today I'm planting this seed. It will, it shall, and it must reap a harvest in Jesus' name. And this is Pastor Sonia at LFT, the church that makes you fall in love with church all over again.
guys, this is Pastor Tuck. As you know, the whole month of October, we're taking this moment to focus on mental health. Uh, it's a serious time. People uh, are, are feeling the effects of all of the things that are going on in our economy. And so uh, we've made the decision as a Living Faith family to focus on mental health. Today, I'm gonna be talking about something uh, that many of you, I'm sure, can relate to. If you've ever taken a pill, if you've ever been prescribed anything, there's a side effect to everything that you take. So this morning, we're gonna talk about the effects or the side effects that affect you uh, from, based on what you take. So I'm gonna pray with you, and then we're gonna read the scripture and we're gonna jump in on this morning. God, we thank you uh, for every person that is watching. And God, I declare that your power and that your anointing and that your grace, God will subdue them like they've never been subdued before. And God, we speak to the person that is struggling mentally. We speak to the person that is struggling with depression. We speak to the person that says, I don't know how to come out of this. I'm in a dark place. We speak to you today and we speak strength and direction over your life. And God, we declare that your anointing and that your power shall prevail. These and other things we ask in Jesus' name, amen. So as I was saying earlier, as you're sharing this with some folks on this morning, uh, the importance of mental health now in our society is more important now than ever. Uh, there are so many people that are having mental breakdowns. There are so many people uh, that are going through so many different mental things. Uh, well, now that they're being affected by all of the things that are going on, we're gonna talk about uh, somebody who you've heard about before, uh, and that person is Samson. Uh, Samson was a man who was strong. Samson was a man who was talented. Samson was a man who was gifted. And Samson was a man who was called by God. Now, there's something that I, wanna, I want you to catch because many of us think because we're called uh, and we think because we are anointed and we're qualified and we have all these gifts, that allows us to be exempt from any mental health issues or anything that may try to come in our way. But Samson is gonna be the example for us so you'll be able to see that no matter how gifted you are, no matter how strong you are, no matter how anointed you are, there are some things that, that can simply affect you if you don't take care of your mental health. Now let's jump into the scripture. Judges 16 and four says, sometimes later, he fell in love with a woman in the Valley of Zurich whose name was Delilah. The rulers of the Philistines went to her and said, see if you can lure him into showing you the secrets of his strength and can power over him <clears throat> that he may tie himself and subdue him. Each one of all of us will pay you a hundred pieces of silver. Number six says, so Delilah said to Samson, tell me the secrets of your great strength and how you can be tied up and subdued. So let me, let me, let me submit this to you, that every pill that you take, there is a side effect. Every relationship you get in, there is a side effect. Every person that you are connected to, every person that you slept with up until this point, there is a side effect to every person that you connect yourself with. And I need you to understand that side effect can be positive on you or it can be negative on you. And I need you to understand this, that Samson does not understand that the medicine that he's taking from Delilah is starting to have side effects and the side effects are him or is him losing his strength and some of us we need to check our relationships some of us we need to read the friend bottle and say wait a minute you, you I, I, I don't I don't need to take this pill I don't I don't need to get involved with you because there's something that that that, that, that that's gonna happen to me that I'm not gonna be able to manage or I'm not gonna be able to stand and so uh, what we see with Samson Samson was already hurt from a previous relationship. Listen, I'm about, I, I, I gotta talk about this thing. Samson was already devastated from a previous relationship. Listen, you gotta be careful who you rebound with after your heart has been broken. 
Wow, come on. You gotta be careful who you rebound with after your heart has been broken because now he's experiencing the side effects from the first broken heart. He ain't even got over the first broken heart. Can I submit something to you on this morning? Give yourself time to heal from the previous relationship before you jump in another. See, some of you, you were just in a relationship last week and now you're back in another relationship. You haven't even allowed yourself to heal. Samson didn't even allow himself to heal. He didn't even allow himself to overcome what had already happened previously. He jumps into another relationship and now here he is going through with this woman called Delilah. She has seduced him, she has enticed him, and now all of a sudden, he begins to get weak and he has no idea that he's getting weak. So, 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 as I've said earlier, you have to understand that every relationship that you get in and every person that you are connected to, there is side effects or there are some things that's going to affect you, positive or negative, in those relationships. I want you to start looking at the relationships that you are in and start assessing, is this relationship a positive relationship for me or is this relationship a negative relationship for me? Every drug that you take has a side effect. Every relationship that you get in has a side effect to it. Just as you, if you take a certain medication or a certain pill, they'll say, look, and now it's gonna do this, but now on the flip side, one out of 10, it's gonna do this. So, so ask yourself a question. The people that you are connected to, the people that you are in relationships with, what's going to be the side effect or what are the effects of being in that relationship? Now let's, let's work the Bible. Bible says that, that Samson is a strong man because many of you feel as though that you are exempt from any form of mental health or any form of breakdown. But I've seen the strongest of strongest break down in the right situation. I've seen the strongest of strongest give up and fall apart in the right situation. Bible says that, mo that, that, that Samson is strong and Samson is mighty and nobody expects him to fall, especially himself. See, see some of us, we were like, well, you know what, I ain't gonna never fall. I'm strong, I got it, I'm this, I'm that. But there is, there are side effects to getting in the wrong relationship. There are effects to connecting to the wrong people. And I cannot stress this enough. Who you are connected to in this season matters. What you're connected to in this season matters. And this is the thing, when you understand side effects, side effects occur from a treatment or for something that has been taken that is either supposed to be positive or negative. Samson is strong, Samson is mighty, Samson is gifted, Samson is anointed, Samson is seemingly untouchable. And some of us, we're walking around seemingly untouchable, but there are some relationships, and I don't know about you, but I've been in some relationships that have pulled some things out of me. I've been in some relationships that have almost destroyed me, but thanks be unto God that I had enough faith, I had enough anointing, and I had enough sense to get out of that relationship because the effects that it was having on my life, on my future, on my career, on where I was going next, were about to destroy me. Some of you today are in relationships that are about to destroy you. They're affecting your ability to be able to dream. They're affecting your ability to be able to stand like you used to stand. And now you gotta reassess. I need you to catch me. I need you to start reassessing your relationships and start saying, wait a minute, when did I stop dreaming? Was it when I connected with you? Wait a minute, where did all this confusion come from? Was it when I connected with you? And so the question has to be, what am I going to do in this moment, in this time, in this hour, I'm gonna figure out the people that I should be connected to, and I'm gonna figure out the people that I don't need to be connected to. Let's keep going Bible. Word says that Samson begins to connect more and more. See, what I've found is that we tend to run to the stuff that we don't need because it feels good. We know we don't need it. We know it's not good for us, but we tend to run to those things that we know that we don't need. 
the Bible says that, that Samson begins to run to Delilah more and more and more. And listen to this. And as he goes to her every single time, he gets weaker because these are side effects and weaker side effects and weaker side effects and weaker. And every time he goes to her, he becomes lesser and lesser of who he's supposed to be. There are some individuals that you are around right now. Every time you kick it with them, you become lesser, smaller than who God has called you to be. Samson has no idea that he's becoming smaller, lesser, than who God has called him to be. That's why you gotta check your company and check who you are around because some people, they are minimizing the anointing and the power that you have on the inside of you. Can I say it one more time? There are some people that are minimizing the anointing and the power and the gift that is on the inside of you. That's why you gotta start checking the company that you keep. My mom used to say all the time, boy, watch the company that you keep. Can I say that with you on this morning? Watch the company that you keep because the company that you keep is going to determine the altitude at which you are going to fly or not fly. Hello, somebody. Uh, and, 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 and some of us, some of us, we are addicted to those people that just aren't going anywhere. We are addicted to those people that like keeping up mess, that don't want to move forward, that don't want to do anything else. But the Bible says that every single time that Samson went to Delilah, he became weaker and weaker. See, some of us, you believed that you could do it. But now all of a sudden you don't believe anymore. You're not strong anymore. You don't have it anymore. It's not in you anymore. Why? Because you've now become weaker and weaker, not knowing that she was there to sabotage him. He was in love. She was there for business. Wow. There are some people that are assigned to take you out. There are some people that are assigned to destroy you, to take you out of this world. Bible says that she's in love, but 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 Samson is trying to figure out in his mind, like 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 you know, she he he never consumes or he never accepts that. She, why does she keep asking me? Why does she keep asking me? Why does she keep questioning me? He never asked that question. So word says that he tells Delilah his weakness. And now all of a sudden, the thing that he could conquer has now consumed him. Wow. The thing that he could conquer has now consumed him. What in your life in this moment, you used to be able to conquer it. You used to be able to tell him no. You used to be able to tell her no. But now it's conquering you. Samson is now in a place where he's seemingly conquered. Side effects, side effects of talking too much, side effects of putting your head in the wrong lap, side effects of loving the wrong person, side effects of trusting people that you should not trust. He's now suffering from the repercussions of the pills that he's now taken. What pills have you taken that you know you didn't need? but because it felt good, but because it made you feel a certain way. What pills have you now taken now that you are now suffering from the side effects of what you thought you needed? And now that you're in a place that now what you conquered now is conquering you. And now you're in a moment of disparity. You're in a moment where you're weak. You're in a moment where you don't know what to do. Now, the Bible says that they take Samson hostage, side effects. They put out his eyes, side effects. They cut his hair, side effects. They lock him in a dungeon, side effects. And now he's down here by himself, side effects, because the medicine or the thing that you thought you needed, you are now reaping the side effects of those things that you thought that you had to have. Now, he's in a dungeon, grinding at the mill, 
by himself. Again, you got to be careful who you trust in this season. Say it one more time. Look at you real close, real good. Got to be careful who you trust in this season, who you talk to in this season, who you share your information with in this season. Because every pill that you take, there's a side effect to every pill that you take. Let's keep going. Word says that while he's in the dungeon, because of the side effects of what he's now taken, he completes one of the greatest missions that he's ever completed. But guess how he has to complete it? In suicide. He says, I can't do this anymore. I don't have my eyes. I don't have my hair. I'm not who I was. So you know what? We all going to die together. So we know that he premeditates dying in a dark place. Can I help you on this morning? That in your dark place, I want you to trust God and listen to God like you've never listened to God before. Here, Samson are now reaping the side effects of the medication that he's now taking. I've oftentimes said to people that if you read the word, the word says that weeping is the medication, but joy is the side effect. And you got to learn, understand that, that, that there are seasons in our life when we trust the word and put the word where it needs to be. We'll experience the side effects of, see, some of you can't stay in a relationship because of the side effects of what you took before. Some of you can't maintain a job or start a business because of the side effects of what you experienced before. And now, instead of being stable, you're now unstable because you've been dealt a hand that you now know or don't know how to manage or how to deal with. Samson is now locked in this dungeon, stuck in this place. Some of us are stuck and we cannot get out and we don't know what to do. Some of us are stuck in this place and we don't know where to turn. Samson is in the dungeon. Samson makes the collective decision. He says, I'm going to take the people out that tried to take me out. In depth, I don't want this to be your story, but this is Samson's story. In depth, he destroys more Philistines in depth, but he could have done it in life. He could have done it living. His story could have ended differently, but because he took the wrong medication and the side effects of what he took, change the directive of his story. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me say it again. The side effect of what he took changed the directive of his story. You were supposed to be a lawyer by now, but now you're experiencing the side effects of the relationships that you were in prior to. You should have been a business owner by now, but now you're experiencing the side effects of what people told you that you could not do. His narrative changed based by because of who he put his head, he put his head in the wrong lap. So it changes the narrative of where he is. Look, who you trust determines where you're going to go and what you're going to do. The Bible says that he puts his head in the wrong lap. And when he puts his head in the wrong lap, the side effect of that thing is him experiencing his, his whole life and his whole career is now derailed. Listen, is now derailed because you decided, come on here, to take the sweet pill. Come on, you decided to take the, 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 I, the, the, the I got your back pill. Come on, but not knowing that the side effect of I got your back is that I'm really stabbing you in the back. Woo! Come on, that, there's a side effect to everything that you do, to everything that you take. So now, here he is in a dungeon. This is good. Here he is in a dungeon where his story and narrative could have been different. But now, he says, suicide has to be the option. I got to take everybody out with me. We all got to go together. But imagine what he could have done had he followed a different path. 
see, I want to encourage you this morning to not let people derail you from the purpose and the destiny that God has placed on your life. Can I say that again? Never let people derail you for the purpose and the destiny that God has on your life. Side effects. What is it that I'm now experiencing because of something that I took that I know that I did not need? Can I help you on this morning? I want you to start doing an assessment of everything that you think you need, but you know you don't need. And I want you to start clearing it out. So some people that you are in relationships with start, start saying, mm, no, I don't, I, don't, I don't need doubt today. I, I, I don't need discouragement today. No, 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 I don't, I, 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 I don't need backbiting today. Come on, come on. I, I, I don't need doubt today. I don't, I don't need these things today. But, 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 but what I need is, 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 is victory. I, I, I do need a little victory and, 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 and I do need a little joy and I do need a little peace. And, 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 and so I'm going to, I'm going to keep these things because that's what I need. But these things I don't need because I don't like the way they make me feel. I don't like the side effects of of what comes out of these things. And so you got to be able to start assessing the folks in your life. Can you start going on your Instagram, your Facebook, your TikTok, your Twitter and start saying, wait a minute, I don't, there are some individuals that I don't need. There are some stuff that I don't need. There are some people that you ought to be erasing out of your phone because every time you hang out with them, you come back worser and you come back lesser than who you were. Go find you some organic folks that says, you know what? I got victory on my lips. I got power on my lips. I got great Grace on my lips and greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I want to be around some people that the side effect is victory. I want to be around some people that the side effect is that I'm going to the next level. I want to be around some people that the side effect was that I was on welfare today, but I'm a millionaire tomorrow. I want to be around some people that says, I want to write your business plan. And the effects of me writing your business plan is changing the trajectory of your financial career. Those are the individuals that you ought to be around, but you got to get away from those individuals that are having a negative side effect on who God has called you to be. Your destiny is at stake. Who God has called you to be is at stake. And you got to take this moment and this time and look the enemy in his eye and say, you know what? I will only accept what's going to make me better. I will only accept what's going to make me greater and make me stronger. What medication? are you taking that you don't need side effects how is this affecting you and keeping you from being and doing what God has called you to be don't be like Samson take the wrong pill and then experience the effects of losing your destiny or your destiny being derailed by taking the wrong medication. Listen, in America today, prescription drugs have risen to an all-time high. And not only have prescription drugs risen to an all-time high, but alcoholism and every other form of drugs have risen to an all-time high because people are on the edge and people don't know what to do. But can I submit to you that God still saves? Can I submit to you that God still heals? That God still comforts and God still delivers? And for those of you at home that are self-medicating because you're trying to get rid of the pain, because you're trying to stop what you feel, can I submit to you on this morning that Jesus is standing right there with you to help you grab you by the hand and say, listen, you don't need those pills today. You don't need that bottle today. You don't need that smoke today. I'm your comforter. I'm your peace. I'm here to comfort you and to help you overcome 
every level of substance abuse that you may have. Listen, as I conclude and we begin to call this virtual altar, everything that the enemy has tried to stop you from doing, derail your life, there are some medicines that you need to throw away. There are some things that you need to get rid of because the side effects of it is simply trying to take you out. So do me a favor on this morning. If you're struggling with substance abuse, if you're struggling with suicide, depression, if you're struggling with inadequacies of feeling, in inadequacies of feeling like you don't belong, like you're not enough, I want you to comment on the screen, type on the screen, I'm ready for healing. And somebody's going to pray with you. Come on, I'm ready for healing. If you're not saved this morning, I want you to put, I'm ready to be saved. Come on, somebody's going to pray with you. Somebody's going to intercede with you. Somebody's going to stand with you. If you're experiencing the side effects from a bad breakup, from a bad relationship, come on, I, 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 we want to pray with you. We want to intercede with you. We want to stand with you on this morning. Come on, let's pray. God, we thank you that you are an awesome God. We thank you, God, that you have never left us, that you have never forsaken us. And God, we thank you because you are good, you are mighty, you are awesome. And God, we declare that we are going to take the right medication in order to experience the right side effects. And God, to the individual that is struggling with substance abuse, suicide, and any other illness, we speak strength. And just as your word has declared that you will keep us in perfect peace, we declare that they will remain and stand and be in perfect peace. God, we honor you. God, we give you glory. And God, we give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. As we conclude this live, if you're struggling with any of these addictions, suicide, depression, oppression, please call the number on the, street, the screen. There's someone there to pray with you and to walk you through this. I love you. This is Living Faith, the church that makes you fall in love with church all over again. Go check your medicine cabinet because there may be some side effects that you might need to throw out.